Okay, let's get into iOS XR uh, dynamic routing protocols. Let's do OSPF as our IGP. Uh, in iOS XR, you can type config or you can type config T. Either one of them works. We are going to create our loopback first. IPv4 is how you assign an address. We had decided earlier that we're going to use 10.10.0.1 for and 2 and 3 and 4 for our loopback IPs for our 4 core XR routers. Again, you can use slash notation. Here's how you get into the uh, routing stanza. I jumped straight from interface, but obviously uh, it just jumped us over there. So XR has nice stanza configs. As you will see, let's set our router ID to be that of our loopback. And XR has a lot to do with address families and traffic uh, types, like unicast or multicast. So you'll pick IPv4 and then unicast. Then we go into our area, area zero. And so it's interesting, it just drops you into different sub modes or stanza modes within XR to configure areas. Classic iOS and iOS XE was never like this. Excuse me. So we're putting all our inter interfaces in there and we're gonna uh, make this passive. There's no need to start a net send hellos out our loop back. Okay, and so show config is the pending configuration. Again, show commit changes difference. What it's going to be adding, it's a bunch of additions. Creating a loop back, the uh, router, here, let me, I'm going to look at it in show config. I like it here better. Creating our interface, going into the router OSPF stanza, creating a router ID, uh, specifying what address family and traffic type it is. And then you drop into the area uh, sub mode and you put all your interfaces in that area. Okay, I'm going to save this because I'm going to reuse this for the other routers. So just scripting in these changes for XR2. Change it to dot two, change the loop back to dot two, and everything else remains the same because we have standard interfaces that we set up around the ring. For XR3, change the loop back IP to three, the router ID to three, and that's it. For XR4 router, same. Okay, let's put these configs in here and see what happens. We'll start with XR4. To log back in. Okay, we can commit this. And let's go back to four. Go to three. Go to two. Okay, let's check some OSPF sessions. Show OSPF neighbor. Oh, didn't do a commit there. <laughs> and we got to commit on that one, and we got to commit on that one. Show OSPF neighbor. So we have two neighbors in two-way druther. We're waiting for those to come up. Two-way druther. Okay, one of them's full, full designated router. And both of those, okay. So show OSPF interface brief, tells us our OSPF interfaces, show routes. We see all of our routes. If you want to make the terminal 
longer without paging, terminal link 60, show routes. There's all of our routes. Show route OSPF shows all of our OSPF learned routes. We are still waiting for, okay, no, no we're not. We've got the loopback of router two, router three, and router four. And we are waiting for a transit network. Oh no, the other ones are connected. Okay, so that's it. At this point, we can ping the other routers to source it from our loopback to see if our loopback is reachable from there also. We're good to the router two. We're good to router three. We're good to router four. Show OSPF the link state database. We have type one and type two LSAs for the four routers sending out their router LSA. And then we have four network LSAs being sent out from the designated router on each ethernet segment. So that's basic OSPF in iOS XR.